well, well, well. What have we here? <laughs> you, Commander Morrow, have been a thorn in the Master's side for far too long. I'm sure you're unaware of what's going to happen in your future. That you would become the Dragonborn. But today, I'm here to put an end to that. Hey, watch it! <laughs> My gods, did that really just happen? <sighs> what? Just happened to me. <laughs> the power of the dragonborn is now yours. And it's true. It worked. <laughs> Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, as the listener, I thought it would be best that I get to work on you again. Recruiting must not be going well for the Dawn Guard. <laughs> Damn faithless Imperials. Every one of them. Anyhow, I came here to Riften to speak with Delvin Mallory to get our new sanctuary in order in Dawnstar. I think I'll take care of that first and then I need to look into what it means to be Dragonborn. So I received 20,000 septums or gold for the assassination of the Emperor. Might as well spend it all in one place. <laughs> Hello, thieves. <laughs> yeah. Delvin, it's good to see you again. Can you repair and refit the Why Dawnstar the Sanctuary? The, the Dawnstar Sanctuary? I don't want to settle. Is that I where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what. It will cost you a lot, I but I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Hmm. Well. I guess we'll just go down the list. I'll start with new banners. Banners, huh? Try to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. I don't think I can go on. Tell me what you need. And I'll get my people on it. I want a prisoner's nook. Yeah, that will come in handy. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right? Consider it done. Not sure how you got an alchemy station out of a prisoner's nook, but okay. All right. What's your fancy? Uh, how about a torture chamber? Uh huh. Now, that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. That no, well, what's it matter. Right, I'll see that it gets done. That was a good bit of work. Of course you do. Not bad. I'll take a secret entrance. Excellent. Yeah, Thank we can do that. Yes. Uh, I'm that thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel, then inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coney. All right. Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. Well, for myself, I'll take a master bedroom. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Of right. course. No problem. Give you a big bed, decorate a room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. All right, then. I believe that's all. Thank you. It's my family. I just can't stand them. I see you didn't ask about Astrid. Yeah, but, but I'm the new listener, and I lead the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, listening. So, we should be doing plenty of business in the future. Oh, listening. 
Uh huh. Yeah. Is there something I'm else? I'm afraid that's it, my friend. Okay. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And uh, good luck with your murders. Thank you. I appreciate all the help. <laughs> good day. Good day to you and all the other thieves. See, I suppose I can use this ladder. Need something? Huh. You're the person that this face sculptor worked on. Alright then. I think it's time for me to get back to the Dawnstar Sanctuary and see the changes that have been put in place. Here we are. It's quite a trip. Quite a lengthy trip. from one side of the map to the other. So here we are. Home sweet home. Well, this part doesn't look any different. Break that loot across my knee. And if the Bonja choose to fight, why then they'll set his clothes alight. <laughs> Well, it sounds like Cicero was having fun and has made himself at home. Oh, Cicero. You're here talking and tending to the Night Mother. If I spy, let's kill someone! In time. Humble Cicero lives to serve. Let's see what uh, changes have been made here. All right, this looks brighter over here. Okay, nice, a garden for alchemy. Oh, and look at that beautiful stained glass window. Very nice. sense in letting that coin purse just sit there. And what do we have across here? I see the banners are in place. Very good. is like a maze. Let me go down the other way first. I've forgotten how large this, this place is. I believe the master bedroom is down here. There's someone back there. Is this it? I think it is. Oh, the bet. So wait, Cicero is alive? And we're all friends again? I swear, I can hardly <laughs> keep up. It's only because you were on the wrong side. The Dark Brother cannot exist unless the old ways are followed. Astrid was a heretic who had to be destroyed. Until next time, brother. <laughs> Hmm. There are pieces of Dark Brotherhood armor on this. I think the the main piece must be missing. Uh, 
Huh. All right. If I come across a piece of armor, I'll have to remember to put it. Oh, look. Tumberbane gloves. Okay, I'm curious. What do they do? Ah. Better at lock picking. Here's a shrouded cowl. Shrouded robes, more gloves, boots. Everything but the the armor piece. Alright, well then this is the master bedroom if I can ever find it again. <laughs> uh, I suppose nobody would ever find me. Oh, Nazia, is this where you're staying? Why am I not surprised to learn Cicero is alive? I still can't stomach the little clown. But if you welcomed him here, I won't question it. Well, he's our mother's keeper. We need him. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. All right. I salute you, too. Happy hunting. And who was this? Yes, listener. I see. A new recruit. Ready when you need me, listener. Thank you. Welcome to the Dark Brotherhood. I'm yours to command. I'm sure. As you were. Perhaps Babette's room. All right, I was going this way. This was quite a sanctuary, I suppose, at one time. Okay, so there's two ways of getting to the sleeping area. Oh, and who are How you? I serve you, my listener? Another initiate, I take it. Welcome. I am yours, master. <laughs> well, I certainly... Applaud your obedience. That is so beautiful. Whoever created that. Hmm. And this is our true master. <laughs> the one. All right. And oh, very nice. Nicely lit. This then must be the torture chamber. Complete. With people to be tortured. Well. You'll all have to await your turn. I'll send someone in to see to your discomfort shortly. <laughs> this go? Just a dead end. Probably should have this blocked off then. Alright, well, everything seems to be in order here. We have some new initiates. I 
believe I have a contract. The Black Sacrament had been performed. The Night Mother has given me an assignment, but I have other things that must be done. Night Mother, you know that I serve the One, as do you. And his needs come before yours. <laughs> oh, farewell, Cicero. I'll see you later. All right. I understand that Irolith and her guards have been over here tracking and stalking reports, seeing if there's a dragon in the area. There they are. No signs of any dragon right now. But it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad. But we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Alright. So all this time and you haven't been able to find this dragon. Very elusive, I'd say. But at least the reports were right and it looks like there has been a dragon attack in this area. Well, I certainly hope that the preparations that the Master has put me through have prepared me for this moment. I don't see anything. Are you sure? Should be the moment of truth. <laughs> Master, have our plans been completed successfully? Was the power of Commander Morrow successfully transferred to me? We killed it. I can't believe it. We shall know in a matter of seconds. We killed it. I can't believe it. Yes, it was rather simple, wasn't it? Look at that. Wait. What's happening? Something's Stand happening. Up. Get back. Then it's true. It worked. <laughs> Dragonborn. Yes, indeed I am. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiberseptim himself. 
I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerileth? You're being awfully All right. Come While on. you all are debating whether or not I'm dragonborn, let's see what we have here. Poor guard. All right, let me take these bones and scales. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. <laughs> I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? It's not for your eyes to see. Farewell. They say the Dragonborn can shout without any training. Talos himself. Alright, I need to store these dragon bones somewhere. The weight is just incredible. Well. The master couldn't be more pleased. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excellent, my Harold. You are now the Dragonborn. <laughs> well, I suppose I don't know what my next step is right now. Check. All right, I need to report back to the Yarl. Good, you're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Has he now? You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. There was. There was much more to it than you could possibly imagine, Jarl. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. And what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. 
Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenuchi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the <laughs> if they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Back to business, Proventus. I'll do Still it. Still have a city to defend. But not because you tell yes, me to. But because I can sense that it's the will of the one. <laughs> so you're the one who killed the dragon? I'm Lydia. Jarl Balgruff appointed me as your house, Carl. It's an honor. You're a hero, etc., etc. Do I sense a hint of sarcasm there, Lydia? <laughs> well, you don't sound very enthusiastic. I have my doubts about whether or not you actually had a significant role in slaying that dragon. Really? It may as well have just been the guards in Irolith. Hmm. Look at the other people in the Jarl's court. There's his brother, Prongar, who's a good fighter and well-meant, but too much of a horker brain to do anything significant. Then there's Nazim, who's done nothing but own a farm, and the Jarl frequently <laughs> allows him into the Cloud District. Just listen to the way he talks to people. Then there are the Grey Manes and the Battleborns, who are under the assumption that they're so important that the rest of the city cares about their little feud. Now there's you. <laughs> The people I just listed, some of them are decent, but none of them are heroic. You'll have to forgive my suspicions. Huh. You know what? I think I like you. So you really don't think someone like me could slay a dragon? Better than the gods, at least? I suppose you look formidable, but looks don't count for much. Prowess in battle According is always you. correlated with virtue. So, are we <laughs> off to High Hrothgar now, then? We could either go through the pass near Falkreath, or travel around the throat of the world. Oh, you've been eavesdropping, haven't you? Uh, let's see here. I mean, eventually I will see the Greybeards. Not today, but soon. I have a couple of things I need to do first. Fair enough. I can help if you'd like. I'll keep that in mind. I 
don't know, Master. Can she be trusted? Should I allow her to accompany me? <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time before White Run had to pick a side. It's right on the border, though, so I don't even want to think about it. Same. Lydia. All right. The Master has spoken. You are allowed into our inner circle for now going to forget about how we save solitude from Patena anytime soon. Great Did you say we? Who does this woman think she is? <laughs> <laughs> 